Okay, so I'm testing a new version of the H1 Generation 2 inverter by Fox ESS. It's called the WL edition, um, and that is the wireless LAN, I believe, is WL. What that means is this is the first inverter from Fox that has an integrated data logger. So there is no module that you install in the bottom of the inverter. It is, let me just make my screen slightly better and bigger. Cool. So there's no... Uh, external data module or data logger that you install into the inverter like on all of the other Fox systems. This has got a wireless data logger built right into the inverter and it simply has an aerial antenna port on the bottom of it that you screw a small aerial that comes in the box with the inverter into and then you set it all up uh, through the app it's also got Bluetooth, so it's able to communicate and help with the, the setup provisioning process. I'll do a recording on that in a moment. But in my testing, a really big advantage of this WL version of the second generation of this H1 inverter stands out. And that is support for Home Assistant or Modbus devices right out of the box. Let me show you what I mean. So I jump over to my home assistant, this is this new uh, model. So it's the generation 2 WL edition. Ignore the M, that stands for master because I'm going to potentially parallel uh, this system as well in my testing. So what we're looking at here in home assistant is the live data coming from the Modbus port. So you can see here it's currently discharging at one kilowatts here. If I make that bigger, you can see. So if I change this to force charge instead, you can see I've got it set to one kilowatt as a limit. We'll see this charge parameter in a few seconds change. There you go, 0 0.93, and that will increase and kind of stabilize just around the, uh, the one kilowatt mark because of what I've got it set for. So what this is really important is I've not installed a Modbus adapter. I've not used the LAN port, which is now back on these inverters. The LAN port, um, according to the documentation, does expose the Modbus server on the LAN port. So if you want to hardwire your inverter again, you can do. But what I'm doing is, is I've installed the uh, the Modbus plugin uh, into Home Assistant through Hacks, and I've just targeted the IP address of the wireless data logger, and it is serving a Modbus server. Someone on the community uh, pointed this out to me. They were talking about, I think it was a H3 smart inverter and that they've got it working in Home Assistant. They were using the, the wireless dongle. And I thought well, that's a bit strange because the wireless dongle on all the previous versions has never has never exposed access to, to the Modbus server. So it looks like the very latest generation on the latest firmware of Fox inverters is actually supporting a Modbus server access through the wireless dongle, or in this case, on the newest generation, they're also exposing an additional LAN port on, or ethernet port on the inverter itself. So yep, in my tests, I've got all the same data that I would have if I was to install a RS485 to, to Modbus adapter, uh, or to ethernet adapter, which is a very common approach, but when you add an external adapter, you've got to worry about cabling. You've got to cable into and connect two cables into the COM port for the um, the uh, connection. So in addition to additional cabling and an additional device that you have to power. Whereas now, if you've got a newest WL edition of a H1 Gen 2, you can simply just pop your IP address into the plugin as a direct LAN device and it will appear in work. That's really, really cool. And if this is also supported on other um, next generation inverters like the H3 Smart and such, then that's great. This appears to be the direction uh, and the standard that Fox are now going down. So that's really, really great, really pro extensibility with third party in addition, and in addition to the enthusiast kind of corner where we want to have access and real-time control and data of the inverter. I'm just surprised there's not more not more noise uh, being made about it because I think this is a fantastic enhancement uh, to the hardware. With every generation, we get we get more, we get better uh, better features, better reliability, 
uh, better battery support. So it's really great to see that I can integrate a third party system like Home Assistant directly into uh, the inverter with no additional hardware. So phenomenal. Keep it up, Fox. We want to see this on all the models if we can. And uh, yeah, sort of make a short video to talk about it and highlight that this is now an option. Thanks.